Welcome to part 4 of Introduction to Contract for Difference. In this video, I will be covering on corporate actions, rollover, and margin call. We will start with corporate actions, cash dividends. Similar to stocks, you will be entitled to cash dividends when you open a new position on XD and or hold your position through the last day of CD. You will not be entitled when you cover your position on the last day of CD or when you open a new position on XD. Do note that cash dividends, if any, will be termed as cash adjustments in your transaction history. Dividend adjustments will be credited to your account for long positions and debited from your account for short positions. For equities, this process will be done one day before XD. For indices, it will be on XD. We do cater for renounceable rights. However, you will not be able to exercise the rights. The rights will be credited to you on the first trading day and has to be liquidated during the rights trading period, else the rights will lapse. We do not cater for non-renounceable rights as well as rights for short positions. Hence, you will be required to cover your position one day before the X date for these outstanding positions. Do take note that there are exceptional cases for handling various corporate actions and are dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. Usually, your trading representative will be notified and he or she will then notify you. If still in doubt, please call the CFD dealing desk. Philip CFD practices a 30 calendar day auto rollover. All contracts will be auto rolled over on the 30th calendar day. This process will realize all your profits and losses and finance charge. Do note that there is no rollover commission and this process has no impact on your PL. An example of our rollover process on day one, you have 100 ABC contracts which you purchased at $10. On day 30, the closing price of ABC is $11. We will close and reopen the position at the market's closing price for the day, which is $11. Assuming that the profit is $100 and the finance charge is $3.50, these two amounts will be realized and your P&L for this position will reset back to zero. Moving on to margin call. Margin call will be triggered when your equity balance falls below your maintenance margin of the portfolio market value. You will be given two business days to fulfill your margin call. Here's an example. You have a bullish view on XYZ. Current price of XYZ is $3. Your desired quantity is 15,000 contracts and the margin requirement for this contract is 10%, which is 4,500. Your available cash in your account is sufficient to place this trade and you go ahead with it. End of the day, the closing price for XYZ becomes 290. This leads to a paper loss of 1500. As you only have 4500 in your account to begin with, your available cash will then be 3000. This is not enough to sustain the margin requirement for your outstanding position, which will trigger a day one margin call. When you have been notified of a day one margin call, there are four options that you may choose to take. Option 1. Liquidate sufficient CFD positions to fulfill the margin call. How many contracts should you liquidate to fulfill the margin call? Using the example earlier, where the margin call amount is 1350, the current price of XYZ is 290 and the margin requirement is still 10%. You will have to work backwards. From the formula, quantity times price times margin required equals the margin release. You will have to find out the quantity, which will be 4007 estimated to the nearest 100, which is sufficient to fulfill your margin call. Option 2. Transfer funds from your Philips stock account to your CFD account. Please take note that the withdrawal cutoff time is 10 a.m. If funds are transferred after the cutoff time, please inform your trading representative. Option 3. EPS before 9 p.m. on margin call day 1 if you do not have sufficient funds in your stock account. Once you have done the EPS, your funds should be cited in your stock account by the next morning. After which, you will have to submit a withdrawal form to transfer the funds to your CFD account to fulfill the margin call. Last but not least, wait and see. As the closing price of XYZ on the previous day was 290, which triggered your margin call, wait and see simply means that if the price of XYZ closes $3 or higher, your margin call day 1 will be considered fulfilled. In the event that the closing price of XYZ is $3 or lower, 
your margin call will be computed based on this amount and it will trigger a margin call day 2. Now, what happens on margin call day 2? You have two options. Option 1, top up required amount at our cashier located at Raffles City Tower level 6 by check or cash. Option 2, liquidate sufficient CFD positions to fulfill the margin call. If you do not fulfill your margin call amount by 3 p.m., we will force sell sufficient CFD positions to fulfill the margin call amount. Do take note that the contents covered in this presentation are for general information only and does not constitute a recommendation. All investments are subject to investment risk. That will be all for part 4. To open a CFD account, feel free to contact us. Do remember to subscribe to our channel for more educational videos. Thank you and goodbye.